Let's get started with another Google Sites tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to cover the announcements page. What can it do? And how is it a beneficial type of page to create? So let's just start out with, let me show you where to create that page. You would hit Create Page button or the New Page button in the top right. And here we're given uh, some of the default options by Google. We have a web page, announcements, file cabinet. We're going to go with the announcements page. And I'm going to call that um, Company News 2 because I already have a Company News. So I'm just going to show you that one. So I'm creating that page. And here you can see I'm just going to go back to my Company News. Um, so when you want to create an announcements page, you're basically wanting to uh, publish announcements or posts or it's a really simple blog type function you're not going to get all the functionality that uh, uh, maybe a blog spot or a WordPress is going to have but just the basics so you would write a new post and then you would title your post and then you would write something and you would hit save now if you go back to company news, you'll see that that post is now available under this listing that it's now creating. And it's going to go through uh, quite a few posts. Um, you might, if you get over a certain limit, then you'll have pages of posts that you can scroll through these, um, clicking on these arrows. Um, you'll see here if your site is public, you'll have the RSS feed. If your site is private or an intranet, you will not have this option since the RSS is a public feature. So uh, what else can you do with the announcements page? Well, we'll go into edit page mode and I'll show you uh, the recent announcements gadget. This is a very, um, very important uh, gadget for uh, companies to use maybe in their site because they want to uh, just you know provide snippets of these recent announcements to people. Uh, may or maybe feature it on the home page. So we can choose uh, where to show post from, uh, the post length. I usually recommend short snippet. Uh, we can have a, sh a thumbnail with each uh, post, a little small image to accompany it, and number of posts to display. And I'm going to deselect borders and titles. And let's save that so I can show you what it's like. Change my layout, and I'll actually add another uh, type of gadget that could be beneficial with the announcements type page, which is the subpage listing. Because you're not going to get the archive ability that you would with like Blogspot or something. So, to accompany your announcements, you may want to have uh, a list of all the subpages. Really, that would be a list of all the posts that you've done the titles of all of them so people can quickly find the post they're looking for. Okay, and I'm just going to make it max width and I'm going to choose this current page. Okay, so I'll show you these two gadgets and how they interact with the announcements type page. So we're given the recent announcements gadget, gives us the title, gives us a short snippet. Uh, I didn't write much to begin with, but it'd be like two or three sentences. And then the subpage listing, it would go on to um, note each of the posts that were done in a, in a list type fashion. So that's the announcement type page and that's the gadgets that can accompany it. Thanks.